Greetings, everybody out there. And today I want to talk to you about something that's real important. Now, have you ever heard that saying, health is wealth? Now, there's a lot of value that goes into that statement. Now, when you first hear it, you may think that, what does that mean? You know, uh, uh, my health is worth money? What does that mean? My, my, uh, I, should, I should try to get healthy instead of wealthy? Are you saying, you saying I shouldn't get money? I should just try to be healthy only? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What should be most important to you is your health because without your health, you can't really do anything else, really, can you? Without your health, even if you made a whole bunch of money, you won't, you're still on like a time limit. And in fact, or if you have bad health, you're, the amount of time that you're going to be able to have to spend that money or enjoy it is going to be depleted, right? Because life is all about quality of life, not just quantity of life. Decrepit, you, know, you got IBS, they're even worse if you got like, you know, C word or something like that. If you value your time, you should value your health because the better health you have, the more time you have, right? Because a lot of people don't understand your time is the most valuable thing you can have in this world. What do I mean by that? Your time being your most valuable thing in this world means that if you're on your deathbed and you only had six weeks to live, but someone offered you a million dollars, you probably, I'm sure you would take that million dollars. But if the very next day a doctor came to you and said that we have a procedure that is tested and proven every single time whoever whatever patient does this procedure it cures the ailment that they have and they have a hundred percent success rate they live but the cost is one million dollars you got a million dollars in your bank account you just got it free but when you ask around most people are going to gladly give up that million dollars just so they can have more years in their life right so i've already proven to you that your time is more valuable than money right your time is the most valuable thing you can have, right? So what's the most valuable thing? Your health, because your health equates to your wealth, right? Your health equates to your longevity of your life, all right? So more health, more life, meaning if you have more money, you can enjoy that money properly or whatever you have in life. What's the benefit of having all this money to get all this cool stuff if your eyesight is going down and you can't see anything? because you're not able to get oxygen to your brain properly so your eyes can see, or if you're not able to get proper vitamins to your eyes so you can actually feed the nutrition inside your eyes so your eyes can be healthy throughout the longevity, throughout the duration of your life, right? A lot of people are so focused on making money or attaining wealth that they go for convenience and put the things that are more important, like actually eating fresh fruits or vegetables and putting that first, you know, because the things that are going to help you have a longer life so you can enjoy your life because remember health is wealth usually those kind of foods take a little longer to prepare you got to get you got to go through a little bit more inconvenience right maybe you got to cook it or something maybe it's a little bit more expensive a little a lot of people don't want to deal with that a lot of people rather just go with the the cheaper option even though it's already been proven to be way less healthy, significantly less healthy. And in fact, a lot of the processed foods, fast food, fried food, candy, all these other these little processed things, processed conveniences that we have around the world are actually the downfall to our society. They're part of the detriment to our society. They're part of the reason why everyone is having brain issues, focus issues, energy issues, digestive issues, gut issues, diseases, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, you probably come up with some kind of disorder for every letter of the alphabet, especially these days in 2023. What I'm saying all this for is because once you have it in yourself to where you've had enough, enough is enough. Once you've told yourself that, then you can ignite ignite the flame inside yourself to start doing your own research because you could watch my videos all day, but if you're not putting this information into action by application, you know, by being tired of being tired, being sick and tired of being sick and tired, once you've reached the point of where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then you can actually take action. So what's the purpose of studying and studying and studying if you're not going to put any of the information into action? A lot of people aren't actually sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? So if you're one of those people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, I suggest you scroll through my videos, watch all my videos because every single one of them is going to be beneficial. I even got some videos on product reviews. If you notice that I'm talking a little bit faster today, it's because I'm back on my regular regimen of my superior superfoods that I usually like to eat. Now that's going to be in the next video, which I'm going to discuss, but one of them is a little sneak peek, a little tidbit that I'm going to tell you. One of them is spirulina. 
Now you're wondering what the heck is spirulina. Spirulina is a food, cyanobacteria. It's a form of algae that has been eaten for thousands of years, most famously known by eaten by the Aztecs. Now, cyanobacteria grows along in flowing water in normal live situations. So it's completely natural, it's organic food. Now today, I like to have it in a powder form, but it's I've already proven that this food is has more protein than any meat in the world, all right? More protein, and instead of it having um, side effects that cause you to take steps forward and then take steps back. That's why if you're someone who has a diet that is pertaining of only meat, more than likely you're suffering. You're suffering from different things because meat, there's a lot of side effects to meat, all right? First off, meat is acidic. If you look at the pH food scale, pH-wise, I mean, potential hydrogen, hydrogen being one of the most beneficial elements to your body, meat falls all the way down at the bottom, especially if you're going to be eating processed meat. Processed meat, microwave meat, uh, just meat in general. Meat is one of the, the least beneficial foods that your body can eat, but meat does have its place. But you got to remember 80-20 rule balance. You got to have, you got to keep things in proportion. You don't want to just have only meat. People who only eat meat, I bet they got inflammation to their body. I bet they got joint pain. I bet they got back pain. I bet they got, they're going to live a shorter life. People are always trying to talk mess about everything that's going on. That's the reason why I encourage people to do your own research. Because when you can do your own research, you come to your own conclusion. All right. You can see that a lot of people that's in the comments section are just talking a lot of BS because a lot of people out there, they throw shade on people who who are able to attain things that they haven't had the gumption. They don't have the willpower. They don't have the determination to actually achieve these things for themselves. So what do they do? They go in the comment section and say, oh, you can't do this. It's fake. It's fake. That's why my comment section is off. Because I want people to do your own research, all right? But I'm going on a rant, and I don't like doing on rant, so I feel like I'm getting off subject. But in my next video, I'm going to be disclosing my very superior nutrition source. Organic ingredients for premium nutrition, as well as another one I'm going to be giving you premium energy, all right? So no crazy pre-workouts driven off of caffeine like we need that. No preservatives, no artificial ingredients, no artificial colors, no dyes, all this other BS. And it's all actually plant-based, all right? Not plant-based on the label, but then there's actually animal ingredients inside there, you know? That's kind of like false labeling, and I don't like that kind of stuff. You know, I like to be keep it, keep it pure, keep it real with you guys. So hopefully this inspired you and piqued some kind of interest to make you do your own research, because if you're like me, you're probably sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you're ready for a change. Remember this, you want more, do more. You gotta do more, you gotta be more. If you wanna be more, you gotta make a change. A lot of people, the thing that's stopping them from being more is they're reluctant to make the change that they need to make. A lot of people need to make a change, but a lot of people don't want to sacrifice that thing that they've been holding on to, you know, their crutch, their, their addiction, the thing that they're just so attached to that's not really good for them anyway, all right? So make sure you stay tuned. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves as well. Make sure you do your own research. Peace.